Hey, I'm John John, and this is my Throwback Thursday. When the contest started, the waves were actually just kind of fired. It was like right on the beach like it does, and it's just perfect left and right barrels. It was kind of gnarly. Like I had a couple of heats where I got so worked. I was like come up, and I'd be like kind of rattled. I'd be like, holy shit, I'm like five feet off the beach and like almost drowned. There's a couple heats that kind of stood out for me in that event. The one with Dane and the semis was especially one that, that one like, that hurt. I was feeling really good and I was just like super psyched and the waves were good and I just couldn't get the score I needed. I got a wave right in the end and it was kind of just under it. That's just one that you think about for a while. You're like, damn, if I would've come out of the barrel and then a cut back, I think I would've had that .25 or whatever I needed. One of the other heats that really stood out to me was the one with me, Kolohe, and Miguel. You know, we kind of all got on the tour around the same time, and that was a pretty nerve-wracking heat. I was like, that was the most pressure I had that whole event, kind of. Those guys are scary to surf against. The round two heat I had with Dusty, it was just really fun. It was kind of little peaks and stuff. And the one wave I did got barreled in alley oop on. I swear I don't even remember thinking about doing an alley oop. I kind of just did it and I just landed it. I was like, whoa, okay. <laughs> when the waves are fun like that and it's good barrels and it's right on the beach, the pressure kind of just goes out the window at that point. It's just kind of free surfing. And I think that's kind of like the best times you have in a contest is when the waves are good like that. My name's John Florence and that was my Throwback Thursday. See you at the Quickie Pro.